I wish I could have sat in on that meeting, you know. I just want to know how that idea first got pitched. So, it's a group of mutated turtles who fight crime, eat pizza, and are all named after Italian Renaissance artists. Oh, and they're teenagers. No, of course. That's the most important part. We'll put that one first on the list of adjectives. I reckon it was just a room full of people, and they were writing words down on pieces of paper, and at the end, one guy was like, no, 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 we're all right. <laughs> Do you remember Biker Mice from Mars? To me, that's just like, oh man, we really need something to compete with teenage mutant ninja turtles, you know? Maybe something along the lines of biker mice from Mars, except not that, obviously. And yet, somehow, as a wide-eyed eight-year-old, it all made sense. What do you reckon Rob made it tonight? He seemed pretty happy when I saw him backstage. Plus, tickets sold well, that's enough to keep a smile on his face. I guess he didn't really know what to expect. Yeah. Do you think he's ever listened to our music? Just, like, casually? Absolutely not. All right, well, what do you reckon's in his, in his library, then? Peter Gabriel. I reckon it's all just Peter Gabriel songs, every hit, even the acoustics. Oh, and Drake. Oh, no, and Drake. Peter Gabriel and Drake. That collaboration is coming. Be ready. I have to say, it's going to be interesting tonight, what with Rob there and all that. You think he'll be a dick about it? Oh, no, nothing like that. He's not evil. I reckon it'll just throw him. Mm. So definitely tonight then? Yeah. I've committed to it now, in my head. I'm excited to tell Hannah, actually. I reckon she already knows. I've sort of hinted at it in the past. Oh, really? Yeah, we got drunk after the Manchester gig and I just sort of opened up a bit. Right. And then after that, I guess, Thunderbirds are go. Thunderbirds. Another great show. What, the one with the puppets? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that was a, a live action remake or something. It's not the same. <laughs> oh my god, I love you! <laughs> yes, no, no, we're definitely interested. Yeah, the band want to do Calamity Fest, but it's a matter of staging, Jeremy. Last year we weren't too happy, so. All right. Yeah, well, that's kind of on you, isn't it? Sure. OK, well, drop me an email. I've got a, a meeting to go to now, so... Yeah. Sure. OK, yeah, OK, I'll see you later. Bye. Fucking clueless. Sorry about that. How are you guys doing? Feeling good about tonight? Yeah, man, it was fucking sick. Look, I know these things are supposed to be all formal and everything, but... Fucking sick just about covers it. You guys were obviously having fun. The crowd were loving it. If we could just get the same again for the next three nights, I'm happy, okay? So, stay rested, okay? Drink plenty of fluids, wash behind your ears, blah, blah, blah. Oh, actually, uh, before you go, I kind of wanted to tell you guys some stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, sure. Right, uh, okay. Well, um, I've... Debated a million different ways I could do this, but I think probably best to just put it out there. So, yeah, I'm transgender. I'm a trans man. When I was born, they had one quick look and decided I was a girl, but that's never how I felt. And honestly, I've known from quite a young age that I'm a guy, but I guess I only relatively recently started voicing it. So I suppose this is me voicing it. And nothing needs to change between us or anything like that. I just, I wanted to tell you guys in person. Hey, come here. Well done. I'm so proud of you. So, do you want us to call you something different now? Um, I haven't decided on a new name quite yet. I had played with the idea of going with whatever my parents are going to call me. You know, if I'd come out with a penis, thought it'd be poetic in some way but there is nothing poetic about Keith. Keith? <laughs> Sounds like a fucking banker or something. I mean, who looks at a baby and goes, yeah, man, that right there looks like a Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlet's fine for now. But a pronoun change, right? Yeah, um, he, him would be great. Of course. 
So I'm meeting up with some mates while we're in London, yeah? So I'm thinking, why don't they come to where we're staying? Make it some kind of coming out party. Sounds great, man. <laughs> uh, you're welcome to join us if you'd like for a courtesy drink. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't want to cramp your style in front of Tyler's friends, so... But you guys have fun, okay? And for the love of God, keep that place in one piece. You play indie rock, not thrash metal. All right, Dad. So I'm there thinking I'll be all romantic, right? So I set out some candles, cook this nice chili, put some nice music on, and she's like, oh man, you remember that like spicy food? And I'm like, oh yeah, I remember you like spicy food. So like, it's all going well, yeah? Then later on, we're in her bed, we're making out and stuff. She turns to me, right, and she says, I'm on my period. Oh, unlucky oh. man. Yeah, yeah, see, that's what I thought, right? But then without saying anything, she goes down on me. Oh, <laughs> so later on, we're in her bed, and I can't sleep. And I realise my dick is killing me. Oh. It's the fucking chili. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> so I get out of bed, like, trying to be subtle, you know? Jump in the shower, get some cold water on me, but... It's like when you eat hot sauce or something. Like, it's when you splash some water on that. You think it's gone. Yeah. And you wait a couple of seconds and it's even worse. That's what I'm thinking, yeah? I'm like, well, what do I do when I eat hot sauce? Milk. Milk. No way. So she's got this cat. It's got one of those things you drink out of. A saucer? Right. So I fill it up with milk. So I put it down on my table and I just fucking stand there. My dick sitting in a little puddle of milk. Oh, no, that's <laughs> tragic. <laughs> and she broke up with you, what? Yep, hang on. Hello? Hey, yep. Hello? Hey, hello, you all right? Is everything okay? Oh yeah, no, absolutely fine. Sorry to disturb you during the party. I just, I forgot to say earlier. Well done, you know. It takes a lot of guts coming out like that. So, honestly. Well done, I mean it. Thanks. So yeah, regarding that, I thought it'd be best to just go over a few things, work out a bit of a game plan. Right now? Well, no, that's my fault, really. I should have mentioned it earlier in person, slipped my mind. Sure. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page. I guess it's just worth confirming. Are you planning on going completely public with this? I mean, yeah, eventually. F fantastic. Yeah, no, it makes sense. And uh, well, well done again, obviously. Though I will say, if you're not in a big rush to tell everyone, it might be worth just holding off for a little bit, just to let the dust settle, make sure you're happy with your decision. And then from there, we can make an official announcement. You think? Oh, yeah, definitely. We can make a little event of it, if you'd like. Bit of press coverage. Get some LGBT-type newspapers down. They'll be all about it. Then, this is where it gets perfect. I reckon off the back of that... That's when we announce a new album. But... That'll be months away. I mean, if you want to announce it sooner, that's all good with me. I'm just thinking a little bit more long game. The way I see it, tour's going great. You guys are killing it as a unit. Tickets are selling. I just feel like we don't want to unnecessarily rock the boat because those are some choppy waters and right now we're on top. Sure. I mean, would it really change all that much? Well, you know what people are like, the fans. They paid for Scarlet fucking Monroe, lead singer of Blue Sushi. Sorry. It's good to say. I guess I just want to make sure they get what they paid for. You know? I mean, it's still me. No, 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 of course, and I know that. But people are stupid. They'll complain, they'll have a little bitch fit on their blog. You know how it is. I don't want you to have to put up with that shit. Plus, with my manager's hat on, it's the promo stuff too, albums and posters. It's all about positive association. Have I spoken to you about positive association? Probably. Positive association. It's like, you know, you see big lips and a sticky out tongue. What do you think? You think of the stones. Whenever I see David Bowie's face on a t-shirt, immediately I hear it. Ground control to Major Tom. Positive association. What we've got right now, it really works. People see the album cover. They see you. They hear blue sushi. They hear the music. They think, I want to pay good money to hear her sing. And when you've got something like that, you avoid going off-brand at all costs. So, you want me to lie? Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ, of course not. Look, look, if you'd rather come out sooner, 
I will support you 100%. I just think maybe for the sake of the band, for your own sake, it might just be best just to hold off for a bit, just till tour ends, yeah? And then we can shout it from the bloody rooftops. Look, if you change your mind or want to come out sooner, have any doubts, anything like that, just let me know, okay? Because I'm always happy to talk. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Enjoy the party, and again, well done. What's the story? Oh, just... It was Rob. What the fuck did he want? I don't know, it was weird. You kind of suggested keeping it quiet. That you're trans? I mean, he phrased it more carefully, but essentially, yeah. Fuck off. Absolutely fuck off. What's this? Rob, he's told Scarlett not to come out. What? Why? He said to hold off for a bit, reckons it might Rock the boat. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna straight up kill him. I, I thought you wanted to go public soon. Tonight, with a big knife. I mean, yeah, I kind of wanted to do it tonight. Well, then let's fucking do it. You reckon? Yeah, I mean, if it's what you want, Rob's blessing, hell, even my blessing doesn't count for shit. No one gets to make that call for you, Scarlett. In your suitcase, what clothes do you have? Ta-da! You brought a soup on tour? Yeah, you know, in case you need to go to fancy dinner or something. It's perfect. Have you seen Twitter? Website, 140 characters, I'm familiar. No, you dick. The tweet. Look. Wait, what? What? This is insane. Is that real? Um, that was Rob. He's coming up. Crap, I have 15 missed calls. What's going on? The picture from last night is at 20,000 retweets. Fuck off. Look, dude, it's blown up. Jesus Christ, Rob's gonna flip. He wouldn't dare. <sighs> Listen, if he says anything, I will kick his ass. Someone's remade the photo in Lego. Well, people know the truth now. And the comments, they're all really positive. This is a good thing, okay? Ah, uh, here he is, man of the hour. What are you doing here? Well, I tried calling, couldn't get hold of you. So you hunted us down like a stalker? Yeah, something like that. What's up? Well, Mr Monroe, 20,000 retweets is what's up. Blue sushi trending worldwide. Tickets selling out for the next three nights. That is what's up. Guys, this is amazing. Well, hang on. You told him to hold off yesterday. Well, I mean, to be fair, I said I'd support you either way, and here we are. But, I mean, I'll be the first to say it. I'll hold up my hands and admit I wasn't quite sure what best to do, but this, this works. This could not have gone better. So you're saying you were wrong. Is that what's happening right now? Because that is a rarity. <laughs> Look, let's go for breakfast, my treat, and we'll talk about things at the venue, okay? 
Where is Tyler? Oh, he said he was going to an after party. There was an after party? It's Tyler. Thing is, you don't want to do a Cat Stevens. Cat Stevens becomes just a fizzlam. Years of branding just gone. Boom. No, no, no. I think we want to match the poetry of Scarlett Monroe. Because I'm all for murdering your darlings, but that is one hell of a darling. So I think the most obvious and logical answer is Scott Monroe. In my eyes, a simple but elegant solution. Scott? Plus, it ties into the band's narrative, marks a new chapter. Also, you're gonna love this. I managed to get you a new suit tailored on the one that you wore yesterday. I could have just brought it. No, no, I want you to be fresh for tonight. Tonight? Yeah, uh, that's another thing. I think now that you've come out, we want you to wear the clothes that you feel comfortable in. Can't say I've ever performed in a suit before. Exactly, and now's your chance. I reckon you'll look badass. Think early Beatles, very Frank Sinatra. If Frank Sinatra played indie rock. Yeah. Ah, the prodigal son has returned. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't want to talk about it. Get some water down here. We've got a big show tonight. I need you guys to kick ass. Would you please give it up for Scott Monroe and Blue Fucking Christ, are you okay? Just hold him. Let me see. How bad is that? Fucking hell, mate. Jesus. Fuck. You see her? Oh, Can we get a first aid to the green room, please? One day. One he's day. Been, he's been arrested. The piece of shit did this. Don't worry about that. Good. Despicable. It's just sick there are people out like that. Can we get a fucking first aid to the fucking yeah, green room, please?
I'm Jamie. I'm Kim. And this is Spuzz Entertainment. Well, it's certainly been a big week for Scarlett Monroe. Whilst playing London last night, the lead singer of Blue Sushi had a bottle thrown at him by a heckler in the audience. Yeah, amateur footage seems to show the bottle hitting Scarlett midway through the performance. Mate, you so properly you nailed you. Fuck you. <laughs> you reckon she's happy presenting this show? I mean, just look at her, man. You just see the dead void in her eyes. Mm. I bet she went to RADA as well, like, studied Shakespeare and shit. All for this. Mm. What about him? Yeah. I bet every day he goes home just ugly cries, just like, what am I doing with my life? Hi, I'm Jim, and I'm a massive disappointment to my parents. Hi, I'm Jamie, and I regularly masturbate into a sock. <laughs> Fuck wits, man. Don't pay them any attention. Bunch of vultures. And I'm pissed so many people got your name wrong after we put a statement out and everything. Cretins. Oh, ground control to Major Tom. Because of the... Anyway, as I was saying in the text, wanted to have a little band meeting. Oh, don't call it that. I like band meeting. No? Right, so I know yesterday was a bit of a shake-up. I don't think any of us were ready for that. And I'm just glad that no one got more seriously hurt. But it did get me thinking, because what's happening now, it's big. It's so big, and it's bigger than all of this. So I've made some decisions, and I've postponed the tour. What? Nothing's been officially announced, but tonight will be the last gig for now. Why? I'm happy to keep playing. Well, hear me out. First of all, don't worry. We're going to pick up exactly where we left off in two weeks. But in the meantime, America. You're going to have to elaborate on that. The calls have been rushing in. We're going to get you on TV, Scott. OK. First the tweet, then the clips from last night. That's two viral hits in two days. People want in on that story, and why wouldn't they? See, we've got a chance to get a message out there, a message about equality, about being transgender. Spread the good word of Scott Monroe, of Blue Sushi. In America? The US of fucking A. So are we going to be playing while we're out there? Well, I mean, it's more chat show type things for Scott here. But we're coming too, right? Well, I mean, it's not out of the question uh, if that comes up, but this is about Scott, about choosing to be transgender, getting that message out there. And I've got a, a surprise for you guys. Uh, Emma, bring them in. The fuck is Emma? Huh? I'm sorry, was she just stood outside waiting for her cue? For tonight. What? Why? I figure there could be a, a symbol of unity, a way to close the tour, but kickstart the campaign. Emma came up with the name Suit Up. I'm serious. Who is Emma? We've never... Where did she come from? So tonight, before you guys go on stage, I want you to tweet hashtag blue sushi suit up. Get people sending in pictures, stuff like that. That way, when it... Ah, America's calling. I'll take this. Hello, Robert Hogan speaking. How's it going? Yes, yeah, you too, mate. Excellent. Fuck. What do you reckon? I was ten. I remember it so clearly. Feeling like this misshapen jigsaw piece that just got in the way. When I did what felt right, I was told off. And when I did what I was told, I didn't feel right. No kid should have to grow up like that. And he has the audacity to think I chose this that I choose to be transgender. Because that's what he said. 
as if I chose to be singled out in every PE class growing up. As if I get a strange kick out of panicking every time I need the toilet in public. As if I enjoy having a bottle thrown at me for being who I am and they think I'm the monster. Suit up. Like it's a costume. Like it's something I can just whip on and off. And now what? Go to America, alone. Have some talk show host ask me questions about myself that even I don't know the answer to. Because I may well know who I am and I'm, I'm fucking proud of who I am, but that doesn't mean I've got it figured out yet. And that makes me, what, weak, vulnerable? Fuck that. And fuck Rob with his bullshit empathy. I'm doing this at my own pace, in my own way. And fuck anyone who says otherwise. Fuck this suit, this costume. Okay, so that's a little harder than I... Fuck you! So, is this us bailing? Um, yeah, I think it is. So is this the bit where we all stand up? Try and rip up a shirt and then what? Run out and rob? Hit the road? Be like proper rock stars? Return to the days when it was all about the music, man. Sure. Sure? Sure. Sure. Man, what are these things made out? Where the fuck did this come from? Long story, Carly, owe me a favour. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! Hey, 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 h